I found nine high paying remote jobs and many of these you probably have never heard of and the best ones are going to be later in the video. And the first one on the list is going to be a data journalist. And data journalists analyze and visualize complex data. And they do this to uncover meaningful insights and tell compelling stories through data driven journalism. And a data journalist is kind of like an archeologist, carefully excavating through layers of data to unearth hidden stories and tell them to the world. And this journalism can be done on a variety of different topics, all the way from crime to the climate to the state of the UK health system. And data journalists make a very healthy $81,000 a year. And this makes sense because you're combining two skills that most people don't have, journalism and data analysis. And there's many companies that are often hiring for this position, such as ProPublica. So some of the pros of this one are you get to work with data if that's what you like, you have the opportunity to uncover hidden truths, and you have a chance to contribute to impactful journalism. Some of the cons are it requires meticulous attention to detail, it can be quite time consuming, and there are potential challenges in sourcing and verifying data. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. The next one on the list is gonna be great for you if you want to map your way to success while geeking out on data. And that's going to be a geographic information systems analyst, or GIS. GIS analysts are responsible for analyzing geographic data, creating maps, and providing valuable insights to different projects. And there's also a ton of opportunities to work remote in this career. And I like this quote from Arnold Schwarzenegger where he says, GIS is a form of digital mapping technology, kind of like Google Earth, but better. And GIS analysts make about $73,000 a year. Now at this one, you do need a bachelor's degree in either geography or geographic information systems or some sort of related field. So some of the pros here are it's exciting work combining maps and data. There is a high earning potential and you almost always have the ability to work remote. Some of the cons are you do have to get a college degree. Some job assignments may require travel and you have to be very good at working with complex data sets. Now, because of the fact that you do have to go to college, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Hey, what's happening? Quick video break. I wanted to talk about the three day remote job challenge. So I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna be doing it the 28th, 29th and 30th of July. And basically I'm gonna be teaching you how to get a remote or a work from home job in three days. That's gonna be the challenge. You're gonna be learning directly from me. It's gonna be a Zoom session. And at the end of each day, I'm gonna have an assignment for you to do the next day. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and check it out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Hope to see you there. Now the next one on the list might sound kind of boring, but it's actually a lot more interesting than you might think. And that's going to be a Discord moderator. And this is kind of like being a virtual bouncer on the internet, ensuring smooth conversations and evicting troublemakers with style. So if you're looking for a job that lets you wield a digital cape as well as a ban hammer, this might be the right one for you. And it's easy to get started with this one because Discord actually has an official academy where they train Discord moderators. And you can find that at discord.com slash moderation. Now the pay for this one varies greatly depending on if you're doing it as a freelancer, part-time or full-time, but Glassdoor does have them making about $104,000 a year. Now, one reason why they make so much money with this is a lot of the time you can actually get a cut of whatever the Discord is making. And there are Discords out there that are making millions of dollars a year. And another kind of semi-secret here is the best Discord moderators will help people to buy products that will be good for them. And so you may be able to make some money from commission as well. And on top of that, if you're a Discord moderator for a crypto related discord you can sometimes get paid extra in crypto or nfts as well so some of the pros of this one is it does have a lot of remote work flexibility you have an opportunity to shape the culture of online communities and you can gain valuable experience in community management some of the cons of this one are dealing with challenging individuals and it can be somewhat difficult to find full-time work right off the bat but overall, I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you spend a lot of time on discords, you're probably a gamer. And this next one on the list might be perfect for you. And that's gonna be a game producer where creativity and technology collide. And basically you're gonna be overseeing the development process, collaborating with different teams and ensuring a timely delivery of a captivating game experience. Now, game producers make about $67,000 a year. And some of the skills required for this are project management, strong communication skills, leader 
leadership ability, a passion for gaming, and a knack for problem solving. So some of the pros here are for one, you get to work in gaming, you also get to collaborate with talented teams, and you get to be involved in the creation of cutting edge entertainment. Some of the cons are navigating tight deadlines, managing diverse opinions, and handling the pressure of ensuring seamless game delivery. Now, as you can imagine, a lot of people want to do this for a living, so it's pretty hard to get into. So for that reason, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is gonna be one of my absolute favorite careers, and that is sales development representative. So this is a career where you're basically gonna be working with a technology company that serves other technology companies. This is also known as B2B or business to business. And when you first start, your job is going to be prospecting with other companies. So you're basically gonna be reaching out to other companies that might be able to use your service and forming relationships with the decision makers in those companies. And it's kind of like being a professional matchmaker for companies and clients. And I really like this quote from Seth Godin where he says, don't find customers for your products, find products for your customers. And that's exactly what you're doing in this position. This is not some kind of scammy, high pressure sales position. In many cases, if your company doesn't have the solution to another company's problem, you may tell people about that and they might actually create the solution. Now, sales development representatives make over $70,000 a year. And that's incredible considering this is truly an entry level job that does not require a college degree or previous experience. And the positions that you can move into can easily make it to over $100,000 a year. And there are many people that work in tech sales that make over a million dollars a year. Basically, when a company signs on and starts to use your software, you are going to get a commission on that. And many times these contracts can be in the hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. And so your commissions can be huge. So some of the pros of this one are lucrative earning potential, remote work flexibility, and the opportunity to develop valuable sales skills. Some of the cons of this one are it can be somewhat high pressure, you have to get very good at dealing with rejection, and there is a need for consistent self-motivation. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 10 out of 10. And my friend Troy actually owns a company called Course Careers where he teaches people how to get into tech sales. And he does have a free training that you can check out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And he also sells a cohort-based course that thousands of people have used to get into tech sales. And I do have a $50 off coupon code on that course, which is Shane50. Yeah, this one is amazing. I'm gonna give it an opportunity score of 10 out of 10. Now, the next one on the list is a career that is growing rapidly in popularity, and it is a great opportunity, and that is a community manager. Now, you may have noticed that online communities are getting more and more popular. For instance, a lot of the time, instead of selling online courses, people are now selling access to communities. And usually, yes, that does come along with an online course, but much more importantly, it comes with a community as well as live streams from people who can help you like mentors. And community managers are responsible for managing online communities, fostering engagement, providing support, and representing the company's brand and values. Now, one of the biggest reasons that communities are getting so popular is because of the fact that you typically pay monthly. Whereas with an online course, you just pay one time and that's it. So if the course isn't good, usually they're gonna have a 30 day money back guarantee, but a lot of the time it takes you more than 30 days to get through the course. And so as you can imagine, a lot of people have gotten relatively jaded from this. And so a lot of online education is moving towards being community based and also paying monthly. And in many ways that's better for the consumer as well as the entrepreneur. And the reason for that is because the entrepreneur gets to focus less on marketing and more on retaining their existing customers. And in order to retain their existing customers, they have to provide a valuable service. And so a lot of people are finding that these paid communities do offer a better overall product and an online course. But you have to have somebody to manage these communities and that's where the community manager comes in. And online community managers make about $62,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are flexible online work, the satisfaction of building and nurturing a community, and the opportunity to be a voice and advocate for a brand. Some of the cons of this one are dealing with difficult community members and negative feedback, dealing with constant monitoring and engagement, and the challenges of keeping up with the latest internet trends. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Now, the next one on the list is gonna be another one of my favorite careers, and that's going to be a digital marketing associate. And this is a job where you can digitally shape brands, unleash your creativity, and watch your marketing strategies soar. And an interesting fact about this career is in 1993, the very first digital banner that you can actually click on went live. And this marked the beginning of the transition to the era of digital marketing. Now, digital marketing associates make about $52,000 a year. Keep in mind, this is an entry-level job 
and you can get into this job without having a college degree or previous experience. So some of the pros of this one are the opportunity for personal growth and development. The fact that marketing is one of the most valuable skill sets that you can possibly learn pretty much no matter what you're planning on doing with the rest of your life. And you get exposure to diverse industries and clients. Some of the cons of this one are it is a deadline driven atmosphere. You're likely going to be juggling multiple campaigns and you always have to adapt to rapid changes in the digital landscape. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. And there is a free digital marketing masterclass that my friend Seth does. I'll put that down in the description as well as the and comment below and you can check it out. Now the next one on the list is similar but with a social media twist and that's going to be an influencer marketing coordinator. And in this position you'll be responsible for identifying and reaching out to different social media personalities in order to do brand deals. And this is kind of like being the puppet master behind the scenes making magic happen with social media stars. And Gary Vaynerchuk who has been right over and over and over again as annoying as some of his videos are recently had this quote which I really like, which is, I think influencer marketing is going to have a golden era of a decade. I think we're at the beginning of it and I'm very fond of it. And a fun fact about this is the earliest form of influencer marketing was actually back in ancient Rome with the Roman gladiators. And some of the gladiators were so popular that they would actually get paid to promote certain oil or wine related products. And the truth is people don't really like buying from companies. I mean, if you think about it, a company is kind of just like a soulless organization. It's just an entity whose soul Whole purpose is to sell you stuff. Instead, people like buying from other people. And when an influencer promotes a product, it's almost like a friend giving them a referral. Now, of course, with great power comes great responsibility. You don't want to promote products that are garbage, <coughs> FTX, <coughs> but this can be a great way to market good products. And you need somebody to manage all of these influencers, and that is an influencer marketing coordinator. And they make about $52,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one is you get to work with social media influencers, you have the opportunity for creative collaborations, and you have the potential to make really good money. Some of the cons of this one are the need to handle confidential information. You do have to get very good at negotiation, and you're likely going to be juggling many different projects at once. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 9 out of 10. Now, the next one on the list is going to be career that is super valuable. Basically, every company that has more than like five people needs people that are good at this skill, and that is project manager. And a project manager is responsible for planning, coordinating, and executing executing projects. And you have to make sure they're completed on time, meet the budget and the project expectations. Because in a world where chaos reigns, you need somebody with excellent project management skills and a dash of humor to take charge. And project managers make about $78,000 a year. Now, this is typically not an entry level job. However, it is a job you can get without a college degree. Usually people will transition into project management once they've gotten a few years of experience in something else. So some of the pros of this one are it can be a high paying career. There are lots of remote work opportunities, and you have a chance to get leadership skills and motivate teams. Some of the cons of this one are high levels of responsibility, managing tight deadlines, and dealing with unforeseen challenges. So overall, really solid career. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I made a video about 17 of the best work from home job companies that are pretty much always hiring, and you can check that out by clicking right here.